Hey, what's up guys? I you share. And today we will be taking a closer look at Miro from Javinho. So basically this is a smart media center that tries to make your entertainment system portable. The cylindrical sleek design that is made out of alloy gives it a really premium look and feel. And it does add to the overall aesthetics of your living room as well. Here we have 10 watt speakers to the sides and in between there is a 5.5 inch 720p touch panel. The display is crisp and sharp. Though it's 720p I wish they would have gone with a 1080p. But that's just a minor gripe here. And by the way, the dual 10 watt speaker does justice to overall audio output. It's actually better than what I had expected initially. And now talking about the specs. Miro features a powerful chipset that is paired with 1 gigs of RAM and 8 gigs of internal storage, which helps deliver lag-free video streaming and impressive multitasking. We do get this remote to control the devices and you also have physical buttons which is pretty handy as well. And the good thing here with the remote is it's magnetically attached to the media player. The standard back, home and menu buttons are kept to the left and volume keys and the power buttons to the right. And you also get a microphone which is again great for making calls. Miro is perfect for outdoors, office, gatherings, bedtime etc. The loudspeakers enable you to enjoy music during gatherings and office parties. And you don't miss out on watching movies while you are with your friends. You can also Skype with your loved ones or follow a recipe while cooking which is much more convenient. And since it runs on Android 5.1.1, you can download almost any app from the Play Store and even play games with the provided remote. I must admit that watching movies and especially listening to songs is an absolute pleasure. It's almost like docking your smartphone to a dock, but more functional. I really love the addition of a USB port at the back, which can be used to access media files via external hard drives. And you have the aux support as well. I often watch Netflix at bedtime on Miro and it's perfect. With Miro, entertainment is kept simple, portable and perfect for indoors and outdoors. It's snappy for the most part as this device is purely designed for media consumption. And the battery life is quite good as well. I watched two full length movies and still had 20% battery left. That's pretty good. All in all, it's a great concept for media player. I absolutely dig the speakers on the device and if you want to be the first one to own one for yourself, Zibinho are currently running an Indiegogo campaign.